on what we promised to them. And I'm happy when our preacher this morning was preaching, he read from the book of Proverbs. And if you read the first verse uh, in Proverbs 14, 12, it says that there is a way that appears to be right, but in the end, it leads to death. And today, Your Excellency, there's no better verse to read from that as much as our constitution guarantees us certain rights and there are ways that may be seem right in the end they may lead to deaths and your excellency i want to tell you we saw last week our constitution guarantees us the right to pick it peacefully but demonstrations that are laden with hooliganism and goons that are looting and destroying our economy, Your Excellency, are ways that can only lead to death and bloodshed. And I am happy with what our Senator has said. And I have heard what the church leaders have been asking us, that you sit and negotiate. And I want to subscribe to what Senator Richard Onyonka has said, do not sit to negotiate with leaders about positions of leadership. Sit with leaders and discuss how shall we restore our economy? How shall we restore the creation of jobs and wealth for the millions of our youth who have no jobs? Your Excellency, Nataka ni kuambie, sisi kama viongozi kwa bunge, tutashirikiana and we shall have that conversation in the right place in the National Assembly and in the Senate where my brother Richard Nyonka sits in so that we discuss how shall we make sure that the cost of living comes down so that when we say food prices are coming down and are high and we intend to bring them down, Your Excellency, we must also know and realize that as food prices come down, huyu mwananchi wa kawaida, ata chakula, bei ya chakula ishuke chini leo hii rais. Mwananchi bila kupata nafasi ya kazi, hata kuwa na uwezo na mapato ya kununua ile chakula. And you cannot have an opportunity ya kupata mapato ya kununua chakula if we are also disrupting our economy in conclusion, Your Excellency, I want to encourage you, please, focus on what is important to these people who are gathered here and millions of other Kenyans. Focus on our economy that was destroyed in a few months under the handshake regime, Your Excellency. Don't focus on what leaders are asking you to focus on. Meskia wakati nimesikiza onyonka nimesikia even the leadership in Kisi has moved beyond the elections therefore anybody taking us back to the election is taking our country back anybody talking to us about the cost of living and at the same time disrupting our economy with looting with hooliganism in Nairobi and I am glad your excellency that the leadership in Kisi are saying there are no demonstrations in Kisi and Nyamira Lakini haitoshi kutokuwa na demonstrations in Kisi and Nyamira. Ile supermarket ililutiwa Nairobi ya mbakasi ni ya kijana mkisi. Aliporwa mali ya zaidi ya milioni 25. Ma TV, ma fridge. Na nilisikia jana mweshimu wa rais. Kiongozi tunamweshimu aliyekuwa prime minister. Aki nilundukizia mimi maneno na naibu wa rais Ati tunampangia Na nikweli Tunampangia Na tutampangia Sababu wakati mulisafirisha yeye 2017 Aliyekuwa rais wetu alifanya yeye political resuscitation But this time your excellency Sisi hatuwezi pangia yeye mambo maovu Lakini mambo ya kisiasa Nataka ni kuambi, ni kuhakikishie mimi na naibu wako wa rais na hawa viongozi wengine tutaendelea kupanga siasa ya kuunganisha wananchi wote wa Kenya pamoja. But we shall not entertain bloodshed 
anarchy in our country, Your Excellency, and that we shall continue to condemn without fear, without favor, and without looking at who is causing and inciting Kenyans into bloodshed and anarchy as we work together as leaders. Your Excellency, kwa hayo mengi, nataka niulize kwa heshima, unikubalie kiongozi wa wengi kwa nyumba la Senate, ameingia mweshimua Aaron Cheruyot, aje atusalimie. Watu wa kizi ni kirudi kiambu ni wambia kizi hiko shuari. Iko amani. Na hamuna mambo ya maandamano. Munataka bei ya unga irudi chini. Na vijana wapate ya jira. Na kazi zipatikane. Na hatutaki mambo ya watu kuchochea vita Kenya yetu. Rais na ukae chonjo. Wewe na jua wewe siyo mtu wakuziwa uoga. Kama wakati walikuwa na deep state au kuuziwa. Mpaka sisi ukatufanya mashujaa Tukakataa kununua uoga Ati nisahi kweli mimi tauziwa uoga na mtu Mimi suwezi uziwa uoga Na nilisikia wakiambia rais Ati kama Nisikia kama ajui sisi Naende ya ulize nyayo Tasa nika ulize jameni rais Nyayo walienda zake Na tunaheshimu waliotukua mbele zetu Na wale wametuacha Na huyu rais ni mtu wa kanisa Mimi najua hauna njia ya kuongea na wale wameaga Wale wameondoka Yeye kama hako na njia ya kuongea na wale wameenda Yeye haongea na yeye Lakini huyu rais hawezi ongea na wale walikufa Na kama hakujui Anazema ati kama humjui uulize nyayo Wewe usichoke Mimi nataka ni muambie leo Na yeye kama hatujui Wacha hiyo ananitajataja na ndindi nyoro na huyu rigavi kashagu Nataka ni muambia na yeye kama hatujui Aende ya ulize sponsor yake Anaitua uhuru kenyata Ata muambia sisi ni wale Asante karibu mwashimu wa jariyotu